Their, their life for us from uh, once in Gishu County. You know, during the coronavirus pandemic, uh, Kenyans have become very innovative. The youth are identifying challenges and needs in their communities and moving fast to address them. A group of young men now at the Didan Kimathi University have come up with a motorcycle-driven coffee pulping machine. The machine uses the motorbike engine power to merchandise manual coffee pulper. KT News' uh, Daniel Kariuki is on this innovation in Nyeri and I'll join us live with the latest. Daniel, what more do we know? Right, thank you very much and you've put it right that uh, Kenyans and uh, specifically the youth have come up with uh, new ways of uh, our other innovations and ideas on how to control some of things and to come up with some new innovative uh, ideas and I'm joined by one of the people who are in charge of uh, this uh, innovation here is going to be explaining to us what exactly is happening. I'm going to be closing to this site so that we may be able to get uh, a uh, close view of uh, uh, the machine and maybe you can just tell us your name and maybe uh, what exactly is uh, going on here. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, we are, my name is Gedhuku Mwangi. I'm the founder of Manufacturing on Wheels. Uh, what we are doing here is that we are using a, a, a motorcycle engine to run a coffee popping machine. Uh, that Before we created this system, that uh, we had a manual coffee machine a manual, a manual popping machine, and then we bought this motorcycle. So the, this team from Dadan Kimadi Engineering uh, created the, the, the mechanism that connects the engine to the uh, pulper. So with this uh, system, all borders are going to become processors. We started with coffee pulper because that's where you have most problem. Yes. Coffee farmers always complain that they lose money. Why? Because they deliver cherry to the factory, and then they, when the coffee is sold, they, they are the ones who get the money that remains. And it takes six months. So with this mechanism, all the farmer needs to do is register, like Uber, isn't it? So we're going to register operators. We are going to the border, border guys. They will acquire that mechanism. They will acquire the coffee pulper. And then the farmer will call them to go home. And the border border will charge them uh, maybe about six to eight shillings a kilo to pop the coffee. Right. The coffee will be left. The farmer will dry it up. After three weeks, the border border you come back, uh, grade the coffee, and offer the coffee to be sold uh, to, to, to traders, either here uh, or globally. Right. Thank you very much for giving us that insight of uh, what exactly is happening here. And of course, uh, we'll keep you updated uh, in our subsequent uh, 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 bulletin or coverage uh, throughout the day on how this pulping uh, machine is working through the motorcycle uh, mechanism. But right now I take you back to Michelle in studio. Over to you. Thanks. Uh, Daniel Kariuki, the line for us from Nyeri County. That report bringing us to a close on news desk this afternoon. Many thanks for watching. For more information, do log on to our website at www.ktnews.com. My name is Michelle Ngele Hoviabo.